Welcome back on this soon to be wintry Tuesday. Here's what we're first alerting you to this evening. Gusty winds continue to take hold out of the west and northwest and the transition uh, to more snow continues as well from the west to the east. Overnight snow and gusty winds continue and travel conditions start to deteriorate a little bit because we're going to see lower visibility with blowing snow and roads becoming slick tomorrow, especially in the morning travel not going to be great. Areas of snow continue, reduced visibility and slick roads are expected. Here's what we're seeing right now. That rain that we had starting last night is mostly lifted up into Canada now, and we're starting to see that wraparound precipitation. In Fargo, we may have seen a flake or two, but this little batch of light snow getting ready to lift in. More snow on the backside going to continue to wrap around tonight and into tomorrow. So here's what it looks like through this evening. That rain continuing to lift to the north. Some spotty snow showers in the Southern Valley filling in through tonight and notice these darker blue shades we will be watching for narrow bands of heavier snowfall rates late tonight through the overnight hours. This is now tomorrow morning scattered snow temperatures in the 20s, so we will see uh, accumulation by then. It'll take a little bit still this evening and with the wind we're expecting blowing snow, so take it easy. Take things slow. Give yourself a little extra time for your morning commute tomorrow. Scattered snow continues right on into the afternoon, as does the wind, but the overall intensity and the coverage of the snowfall diminishes through tomorrow late afternoon and into the evening. Here's the latest snowfall potential from 5 o'clock today through 11 p.m. tomorrow night. So this does not include uh, what we've already seen in some areas. Expecting a general 2 to 5 here in this, we'll call it the medium blue shade. So that encompasses a good portion of our region, the Central Valley, West Central Minnesota, a good deal of Northeastern North Dakota, but still expecting those pockets of heavier snowfall amounts in those slightly higher elevations. The lighter blue here, one to three inches, and then the lightest blue off to the east, up to an inch. Roads at this time are mostly just wet. We haven't seen accumulation on the roads within our viewing area, but out in northwestern North Dakota, there's a no travel advisory because of snowy roads and visibility becoming uh, really tough for travelers. In our travel planner, here's what we're expecting. expecting scattered snow with banding, along with strong winds and slick travel tonight and into tomorrow morning. So we've got that high impact for travel conditions. But by tomorrow evening, things start to settle down and improve a little bit. 37 right now here in Fargo feels like 27. It is breezy, gusting to 28, gusting to 31 out of the west in Grand Forks. Current temperature of 39. You can see that colder air that's filtering in on the backside just as expected. On the backside of the low, I should clarify, and those strong gusty winds, Jamestown gusting to 43 miles per hour. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon in the 20s, so cold, windy, it's going to feel colder, and then we've got the snow too, and temperatures, they're not going to get much better, 31 for Thursday, but Courtney, generally all the way through the end of the month, temperatures in the teens and 20s. Not really leaving us with the best of news. No, I got to get a new winter coat that fits. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> same, but for different reasons. Yeah, summer things.